What you don't want to do, and this is one of the biggest mistakes that I see, is that people find this product and then they look on AliExpress and they're like, okay, well, this product now, these are the product costs and these are the shipping costs and there's no money in it. It doesn't make sense. Hey guys, so at this stage, we have built multiple seven-figure brands and, and helped clients to build theirs. And uh, what I wanted to tell you in this video today about is how you can take $1,000 right now and build that into a million dollar in hand cash, not a million dollar business, but how can you turn $1,000 that you have in your bank account into $1 million to have in your bank account in 2021 or within 12 months. And you know, that goes, uh, I hope that goes without saying, but you know, if you start with no experience without ever having done anything e-commerce related, that will probably take a little bit longer. If you already have done something, well, that's great because the experience always helps you. However, today I'm going to go through the 10 steps that you need to go through to use e-commerce and turn $1,000 into $1 million. The very first step is to find an audience to sell to. A lot of people think, okay, the very first step should be, hey, what product can I sell? And this is what somehow everyone asks this question. It's like, that. what is the product that could I sell? What's the product that everyone wants? What's the winning product, right? What's the one winning product that, that, that will just blow it out of the park that I can put out there and then it will just do its thing and it will go nuts and you know uh, I'll become a million overnight, right? So and everyone looks for this. So everyone looks for these super trendy products that just pop up and uh, every month on this channel, uh, another video pops up of like, hey, the 10 winning products of this month and the 10 winning products of next month and like all this crap. But what you actually really need, just need to focus on is in the very first step, who is the person that you want to sell to? Because in long term, you need to have an audience and you need to have a persona that you like to sell to. And uh, preferably, it's something that you're passionate about. Preferably, it's something about a space that you actually know something about. So if you don't have a pet, you might probably not want to do the dog niche. If you're not exercising, you probably don't want to do an exercise product, right? Because it's, it becomes so much easier to actually know your market and to know the person, to know the audience. Everything from there on becomes easier. It becomes easier to find the right product. It becomes easier to find uh, to, to do the marketing message right. It becomes easier to do advertisement. Like, think about that. If you're just sitting there and thinking about what product can I sell, then you have 200 million products to choose from, right? But if you like niche this down to one person, uh, for example, triathletes. So you want to sell to 60-year-old triathletes that are that are still active. Your selection of products that you have available it just shrinks so much so you only have a couple of things to choose from and then you go into the next steps and validating it so let's go over those in the next step in step number two we do market research and the market research we actually go into the marketplace and we look at competitors we look at what are other people selling in this marketplace what are products that people or what are uh, products that people really want what are products that other brands are selling and when we do the market research we want to be really careful about not looking at you know big brands we don't want to look at you know, uh, 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 businesses that already have a name, that already are established, that already, you know, have branding in place that brings people into their business. We want to find a, like the sweet spot. We want to find a product that people really want. We want to find a, a space where, where you can sell in, where also you have other competitors that are also smaller people, but that are crushing it. That is really the key here. That's what you want to find. Because if you, if you just go out there and say, okay, Nike is selling this product, so I should do it. Well, that's probably not gonna gonna do it, right? Because they have very different resources and they have a very different strategy to acquire customers, right? They don't need to rely on very profitable products to to in order to cover their ad spend, right? Because they just have a name out there and people automatically come to their place and find that product. So it becomes less important for them to have big profit margins so they can advertise it. So you want to find the real sweet spot here and do the market research well. So that was actually step number two and number three. Number two is you want to do market research and uh, number three is you want to find a product from someone that is not like a major brand that uses search engine optimization and blog posts to drive people in, but someone that really does what you can model after, what you can kind of copy and then just do the same thing, at least initially. Eventually you want to do something different, you want to be better, but initially you just need to have some sort of something that can go out there to generate some revenue, right? So um, instead of just trial and erroring it, you really want to find someone that is already that already went through the trial and error phase. Maybe it took them two years to figure out that this one way that worked, right? So you just want to go right in there and, and use that way and leverage that way. 
Uh, step number four, once you identify the product, you want to make sure that the numbers work at scale. What you don't want to do, and this is one of the biggest mistakes that I see, is that people find this product and then they look on AliExpress and they're like, okay, well, this product now, these are the product costs and these are the shipping costs and there's no money in it. It doesn't make sense. Like there's there's no profit margin. I don't even know how to make money with this. That's, that doesn't make sense, right? So a lot of people go in that with that mindset, but you should make that a little different. And when you go into that, you need to look at the numbers at scale because eventually you will be growing and eventually you will get to a point where you'll be selling, you know, 50 units a day, 60 units a day, where you have thousands of units a month. And because at that level, that's the price that you wanna that you wanna look at. Like what does your product cost when you reach that level? Because a lot of million dollar businesses are never continued or never started just because the, in the beginning the drop shipping prices didn't work out right but it doesn't matter like you just want to look at do the numbers at scale make sense let's say at scale what's the product price if i buy a thousand units what's the pro what's the shipping cost per unit if i ship a thousand units by sea right so you want to dumb that those numbers down you want to know what are those numbers at scale because if those numbers at scale don't make sense well, then you don't need to go for it, right? If they do make sense, you don't need to worry about any of the numbers right now that you start off with. You just need to know, okay, this is where I'm going and that's all you need to know at that stage. Next up, you wanna set up your store and your advertisement. Well, in that stage, don't go nuts and create a general drop shipping store and put 100 products in it. It doesn't matter. You just need to have this one product in the store. You don't even need more. You just need to have this one product that you identified and you build a store around that. So instead of spreading the time and efforts that you can put into that on into you know multiple products you just really want to focus everything on one and you want to make the page as well as possible don't spend a month building that okay so so you need to find the balance a little bit between not going overboard with you know investing all your life into that thing but also you don't want to put up just a crappy page right so you want to have something that looks really good you want to use what you learn from the competitors how did they set up the page what do they display on the page how do they structure the page what do they put first what do they put second when do they put the testimonials when do they put reviews when do they uh, say you know uh, how to use this product when do they say is this product right for me you want to find out what is the right order of things that they already have on their page because it's proven okay so you just want to take that build your store around it don't go nuts don't go crazy don't put tons of plugins in there that are supposedly you know increasing your conversion rates and all that doesn't matter. Just put up some nice store that you can get out quickly. You should do that within a week, maximum two. Set up your advertisement and then we're good to go for the next step. In the next step, we want to validate the idea. And this is really important. We're already in step number six, but the first six steps, they are so vital and so important. I see a lot of people just skip that. So now you have to be honest with yourself. You have to get this out there and get it started. Get your ads live, get some people into the store, see if they buy or if they don't buy. A lot of times, because now you spend effort. So a lot of times we see people that are at that stage and they don't make sales, right? And they're like, oh shit, I need to try something else. I need to like, and then they, then they play around with the ads and try to change the store and do new pictures and like it doesn't matter at this stage if you cannot make this work if the, if you cannot validate the idea just give up on it and do the next one. it's fine either give up on it or you know maybe you change the target audience maybe you change little things but you you shouldn't just just now try and spend all your time in it to make something work that doesn't work look if it doesn't work it's fine. If it doesn't work, then you just repeat the progress. You just repeat the first six steps. You take another product. By now, you already have a little bit more experience. It's going to be so much faster to set it up a second time, a third time, a fourth time. And probably the first time, it's not going to fly out of the gate anyway. So don't worry about it. Just try again and try again and try again. And this is so important that you invest this time, even if you don't see much of a result. This is the foundation that needs to be strong. Because if you don't have that foundation, you will not be able to grow that in the future. Okay, so make sure to validate that product. If you get out there and you make a couple of fails, no matter if profitable or not, that's fine. Just validate the idea. See that you can make sales. Now you do that until you have a proven concept. And the proven concept means the product, the numbers at scale make sense for the numbers that you see now. What does that mean? That means now you just do a little bit of math. You see, how much do you spend on advertisement to get a sale? What's the cost per acquisition? What does it cost you to get one customer to buy your product? What does it cost you in advertisement? At scale, if you would sell it at scale, what would that 
cost you in terms of products and then shipping. Because at this stage, just to validate it, you can just drop ship it. You can just do something simple. It, it doesn't matter at this stage because you know, hey, numbers at scale, I can make that work. So if you can make it work with numbers at scale and you have made maybe 50 sales or so, you have numbers on paper now that you can show people. Because in step number seven, who you want to show this is possible investors. You don't necessarily want to put your own money in it because now it's the concept is proven. Once the concept is proven, now you need money because now you need to buy products. You want to ship those products to the country where you're selling. You want to fulfill them with the three-day shipping. You don't want to go down the route of continuing to drop ship this and scaling up a drop shipping business. This is the most horrible thing you can do because you after two months you will be overwhelmed by refunds because people are expecting the products quicker you'll be overwhelmed by facebook trying to close your account all the time because facebook also wants the customers to be happy and satisfied right and that should be your goal anyway also you will not be able to sell someone the product again if the first time they had they didn't have a good experience with it right so you really want to make sure that you get out the capital or if you have enough money now you can be confident enough to put it in because what you want to do is buy products in bulk ship them over maybe you train ship them to europe maybe you see ship them to the us or if you want to do it quicker the first load you ship it right because now you have a proof concept now you can be confident that this works now you need to make the numbers right so buy in bulk ship them over and uh, get some capital then in step number eight you want to improve it so now that you have like while the products are being made and produced and shipped now you have time to improve the store get better ads maybe you work with some influencers that can create content for you uh, you can improve your store get better pictures make it really pretty make it nice make it make it look great maybe you have a developer that comes in to improve your page speed right you, you just optimize everything so that when when your products are ready well then when you go out you can then be profitable and you can everything can run smoother you will already increase your conversion rate just by being able to offer three-day shipping that's already something that will completely increase your conversion rate and if you have a great logistic center like we do in, in europe we ship within 24 hours right so if you put that on the page that immediately boosts your conversion rate and more people will buy from you uh, so that's the next step then in step number nine, you really go for branding. So the next six months, like this, this first, this first thing should have not taken more than a month until you order your product. Now it's all about building a brand. It's not about big product profits. Like all of the products, with it, for the next six months, you should reinvest all of what you have. Put it back into marketing. Put it back into building a brand. And a brand doesn't mean slapping your logo on the product. A brand meaning getting it out there in the marketplace, getting your your name recognized. You want to have people writing articles about you. You want to make blog posts. You want to have influencers talking about it. You want to be on YouTube with that. You want to be on Instagram. You want to be known and become a brand that people can recognize. Profit shouldn't matter here. In the first six months, it doesn't matter. It's just really about building out that brand image and, and just having a very, very solid foundation that you can build upon. Because then in the last step, in step number 10, the last that's the last six months. In those last six months, then you really want to go pro in, in profits. So the first six months, you just want to focus on really making that a brand. And then the, the later six months, you want to build that into the most profitable business that you can. Right. So you want to you, you get the annual subscriptions for the software and you, you just squeeze out every little thing on profit that you can. You should then be at looking at between 40 and 60 sales a day. Right. If you have a $50 product, that's about a million dollar revenue over a 12 month period. So you build a seven figure business already with with that it only takes 40 to 60 a day and that's absolutely something that can be achieved if you have the brand image it's it's not too hard really you have that for the next six months you just really make that profitable and then you sell the brand look there's so many people out there that want to buy established brands because they don't want to go through all the crap that you went through of trying different products and validating the markets and doing all of this shit they just want to go into the point where the brand is already existing and they want to buy it from there so once you're at that stage where you're like look now for the last six months i, I had a very profitable business that's what gives you the value. So the more profitable your business is, that is what the buyers of this business, what they look at, how much profit is there in the end of the month or in the end of like the last six months, how much profit was there? And then they give you a multiple uh, on those profits and then you have a million dollar in a sale of a business. You can, if you, if you already have e-commerce experience, you can definitely do that in a year. If you don't have e-commerce experience, 
Well, it just really depends on how long you need to validate that idea. But that's really it. You don't need a lot of capital. You don't need a lot of skills for that. It's it's very basic things. It's the basic things that most people ma mess up. It's not the latest Facebook ad trick. It's not the latest targeting method. It's, it doesn't matter. It's about really basic stuff. Who's the right buyer? Can I get them profitably in the door? Then you take someone else's money to grow that brand. And once you grew it and you make it profitable, then you offer it for sale. That's really all there is to it. And and I always thought it's it's a really complicated process. But if you dumb that down to those 10 steps, that's really all you need, right? So the, the one thing, though, that stands in between that is that you don't get hung up as a person yourself and try to jump opportunities. Like now that you know this, it's just really about executing this. And this is where most people fail. They're like, oh, I could never do a million dollar business. Well, you could. It's it's not hard. You just need to stay focused and stop being distracted by what other people say. You know, a lot of times you have people around you that are like, oh yeah, nice, you have this e-commerce business, but how much profits do you actually make? Oh, I don't make so much profits now, but later, yeah, later, hmm, you should take some money out. Right? So you always have people that tell you these things, people that don't know anything about it, that will come in and 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 they don't mean bad, right? But they will try to to push you into other ways. So you need to be really stubborn and follow this way and just follow the steps and follow the process until at the end of the day, you have the big payout that we're all looking for, right? And that's really it. That's the process how you can turn a thousand dollar into a million. So you just need a thousand of your own money. You validate the idea, put out some ads, put out some, some dropshipping products, validate it, get some other people's capital, and then really just grow that and sell it in the end of the day. That's all it takes. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, leave me a like below here. Leave me a comment if uh, you have any questions and I'll come back to you there and uh, see you tomorrow. Cheers.